Welcome to the OC Homestead. I'm Donald, and this is my wife, Leah. And uh, we're out here just uh, putting some wood in the boiler, trying to keep the house warm. Right now, it is seven degrees Frankenstein outside. I don't know what that is in Celsius, but or science, it'll be right here. But uh, it is cold outside, isn't it, honey? Yes, yes, <laughs> it is so cold that we are on an hourly uh, basis checking the water for our livestock, making sure that they got good drinking water. And uh, well, <laughs> then we head back inside to warm up. But what you see behind Leah is our boiler. Uh, this is a wood fire boiler that we got how long ago? Two years. Two years ago. We got it two years ago. And uh, what it does is it boils, well, it gets it up to hot. We don't we don't let it actually boil the water because we don't want to lose the water to, you know, uh, steam. But it does create some steam a little bit. And uh, uh, let me show you the back. That is the controller. What that does is that monitors the temperature through a temperature probe that is sitting right here in this dry well. And the water actually comes out this pipe right here, goes down. This pump is pulling the water out of the pipe. This pump has three different speeds. It's on high right now. Comes down to this valve so I could shut off the water if I wanted to and service this area. This down here, it may look like a plumber's nightmare. However, it makes a little bit of sense if you know what you're looking at. So the water's coming down right here. Hits this pipe right here. There's a T junction right here, but this valve is closed right now. Normal, this is a normal operation. We have that valve closed, this valve closed. So no water can go in between these two. This goes down to the big house, which is right there. And it hits both a hot water heat exchanger and an air heat exchanger. This right here is the valve that is controlled by the thermostat. This valve comes on whenever the house is calling for heat. And what it does is it lets hot water flow through the valve into this. This is a heat exchanger for air. And the hot water will flow through that and then come back out of it and go into the hot water loop uh, heat exchanger, which is right above here. Before it hits the air heat exchanger, it goes through a bypass valve. So whenever the house is not calling for heat, the water bypasses the air heat exchanger and comes right back up to this point right here. So that valve is open, that valve is open right there. So the water is going down this way, goes to the big house, goes through the two heat exchangers in there. Hot water heat exchanger. This right here is the heat exchanger between the hot water boiler loop and our domestic hot water loop. An air heat exchanger. Okay, from here it comes back up from the big house, hits this T right here. Remember, these two valves are closed, so the only way it can go is down through this. That valve is open, and that goes to in there we have four radiators or baseboard radiators so the hot water flows through the baseboard radiators and just heats up the ambient air around it heat rises and it heats the room so that's how the tiny house is heated after it goes through those baseboard radiators the water comes back up through that blue pipe right there comes up right here and goes into the bottom of the boiler and then it gets heated back up what you hear now you hear that hum the hum is this uh, uh, solenoid right there it's pulling that valve flapper open that's a blower that's also running it's allowing air to be forced into the burn chamber after the water comes back in here, it gets heated back up and comes back out. Right here is a little water gauge that tells me how much water is inside the boiler as, right now. But as you can see right now, the water is at 163 degrees. So I have the temperature set to come on at 160 degrees and it will 
come that blower will come on and open up that flapper valve and force air into the combustion chamber which is where we put the wood and uh it'll heat it all the way up to 180 degrees once it hits 180 degrees it shuts the valve and shuts off or that flapper and uh shuts off the blower and allows the fire to sm smolder okay and once it gets back down to 160 degrees then it'll kick the uh, blower back on and open up that flapper and fire it back up and get it hot again so one thing that you also uh i also want to let you all know is that back here in that building right there we have our hot water heater that is our well house actually so remember i said we have a uh air or air heat exchanger and a water heat exchanger in the big house this right here is a, a water to water heat exchanger uh i found this on ebay it was a pool heater heat exchanger and what it does is it allows me to use the boiler hot water loop which comes up in this pipe right here and it goes through this and it comes back out of this the boiler water comes back out of this well i have a pump on the water heater in there and it moves the hot water around between the well house the tiny house and the big house and it gets heated up that way so we're heating our hot water and our air inside the big house and in the, the hot water inside the tiny house with the boiler i'm going to get back in now it is quite nippy out we just did some chores and in another hour we'll be out here to check the water for all the livestock thanks for watching please like this video subscribe and ring that notification bell this stuff is hard to do <laughs> have a good one